so <clears throat> I'm going to put this in the beginning. Um, I thought I needed a disclaimer, basically. Um, so I've been getting a lot of packages for different reasons. And so I've been unboxing them and filming it. And I'm just kind of doing a compilation of a bunch of them. Rather than, I mean, they're all short. I didn't want to do like a bunch of short YouTube videos, but they're too long for Instagram. So I'm just compiling a bunch and I have some packages to open now, but um, I'm going to get some more today and tomorrow and possibly the next day. So I may wait to post it until I have like most of my packages to unbox but my anyway my disclaimer is that um I know it seems like a lot of stuff and excessive consumerism whatever you want to call it but um there I don't go I am like basically agoraphobic at this point so it's not something I would really want to share but so I don't go to stores other than I go to Walmart once a week for groceries and Trader Joe's uh every once in a while I'll run into another store for one thing and I'll literally just go straight to that one thing get it get in line go because I can't deal with the people, the crowds, the lines, and Target is getting really bad because now they're closing their self-checkout. And I do go to Target occasionally for prescriptions, but again, I don't really shop. I just go get my stuff, and if I, may, if I see something on the way, I might grab it. Occasionally, I'll look at the dollar section or whatever, but if I... If I order anything, it's usually online and it's usually Amazon or, you know, there's the different bath bomb places I order for bath bomb supplies and, um, what was I going to say, uh, even Target, I'll do drive up orders so I can just, I don't have to go in. So anyway, this is a really long explanation but I just didn't want everyone to be like oh my gosh this person this girl gets packages every single day and is she crazy no I'm not crazy and I'm doing this bath bomb thing and making all kinds of you know experimenting with different recipes so I need ingredients and then I've got to have packaging supplies and labeling supplies and decorative supplies and everything so it's partially business stuff and partially just that I don't go to other stores so I get like like you like I've opened if you watch this whole thing I opened hair conditioner and body wash and things like that too so I, I get some of that stuff at Walmart, but they're lock, every, all the stores are locking up things now. So it's like, it's not even worth it. So anyway, that's my disclaimer in case you think I'm crazy for having so many packages. I didn't mind when I think I'm um, just on a shopping spree. I don't know. Anyway, so onto it. I'm going to open yesterday's mail and then maybe later or tomorrow morning I'll open today's mail. It depends. You, if it comes late, that's when I usually film it in the morning, the next morning. So, okay. I got some more mail yesterday afternoon. So I like to open stuff when I first get it, but... For some reason, my stuff comes, stuff, sometimes it comes nice and early, like before 11, and then sometimes it doesn't come, like, I think this stuff came at like 5.30, so if it comes later in the day, I usually don't film it, unboxing it until the next day. 
So I got the Lady Tints and Air because I have this series. I have the other ones. And the Duchess takes a husband. Let me go see if I can find the other ones that go with this. Hang on a second. Okay, so I found the ones I have. And it turns out I already own this one. So I have an extra copy of the Lady Tanks and Air. So maybe I'll do a giveaway. I don't know. Brand new. But I haven't this was on my unread shelf. I need to, <laughs> I used to scan all my books so I knew what books I had and then I stopped and I don't know where I left off. So basically I have to start from scratch and scan all my books and that's going to take forever. So I don't know when that's going to happen. But anyway, I have this book, an extra one of these because I already own these three. And I read the first two, The Heiress Gets a Duke, the Devil and the Heiress, and then I need to read Lady Tensonaire, and this new one, The Duchess Takes a Husband. So, I should have checked on that one. I didn't think I had this, but I love these covers, so I really wanted it anyway. And she just has a new one that came out that is beautiful too. <clears throat> and I really like the first two that I read by her. I think those are the first two books, so from that series. Which is called the Gilded Age series. So I got a label maker. Because I couldn't decide if I wanted to label my color powder jars and have that like in the way of the, just looking at the pretty colors. But then I'm like, how the heck am I going to know what colors what? So I was like, I think I'm going to have to label them, but I want to do it cute. So I got this label maker. Bluetooth, you know, you use your phone to, like an app, let's see, and the labels, I got some labels to go with it, so, this is it, and it comes out of here, another little charging cord, another charging cord, and then, to go with it came I thought it was supposed to come with tape but it didn't so that's good that I bought some um I bought some clear uh waterproof label tape because I know that my hands are always gonna have stuff on them and I don't want to mess up labels and maybe I can use these on some other things there's other things I love to label. So that's, there's three rolls in there. And they're like a fixed size, which I don't love. I wanted like a continuous roll, but so I'll have to play with that and show you once I put the labels on my jars. So label maker, labels. <coughs> And then this is the other one I got, The Stranger I Wed, which someone um, was talking about how, you know, she was going with the mass markets. And then this series, it's called The Doves of New York. This is a new series she's writing, is in like a trade paperback. So it's $18. I don't remember. I don't think I paid that on Amazon, but... I mean, these are like eight ninety nine, and this is more more than double that. So I don't like that, but 
I really like this author. I liked the two books I read by her and I want to finish that series. And then I want to read this one and this cover is just as beautiful as her other covers. So she really knows <laughs> how to sell a cover. And it's about American heiresses again. So, and then I had to have this one because I hear everybody talking about it and I pretty much always love Emily Henry. So, oh my gosh, it's pink. Love it. So, got this one. Right now I'm reading Bridesmaid for Hire by Megan Quinn. And it's, I'm listening to it, but I had the physical book and I had the book, I'm just like going back and forth. And I spilled dye all over the book. So now I'm bummed. But I'm kind of like thinking I'll wait till I finish listening to it. See how see if, if I love if it's five stars, I'll buy another copy. Otherwise, I probably will just keep the one that I have. It's read the one I have is readable. It just has blue dye on the back of the page, some of the pages and stuff. I showed I posted it online. But anyway, I'm excited to play with my label maker. Hopefully, it's got a little bit of a charge in it. I can use it. And make sure I put these ones away. And maybe keep your eye out for a, a giveaway for this book. Maybe with some bath, some bath stuff. We'll see. Let me see if I can put together something cute. So I will see you in my next one. Good morning. Another unboxing to add to the compilation. Also want to show you, I wrapped up my shampoo bars. These are just for me and my husband. I gave him a couple already, but I didn't, nothing sticks to parchment paper and I use parchment paper to wrap them. So. That's what I was wondering. Some people use parchment paper, I think, to wrap um, bath bombs. And then I always think I see a, like a circle sticker or something. And like, what sticks? Nothing. I can't get anything to stick. I, even mailing tape, wouldn't, nothing will stick. So, I mean, obviously it's meant for cooking non-stick. But... So, I just came up with tying the twine to hold the paper on. So I've got my, I got two sweet orange and one eucalyptus spearmint. I gave some to my husband and I used my, I was out of my shampoo bar from Trader Joe's. So I used my, the other eucalyptus spearmint one. And yesterday in the shower and it was great. I loved it. it smelled super good and it lathered like even more than my other shampoo bar so I'm excited and my hair was you know soft and the same as usual so um I definitely really like those shampoo bars I made and I will make more maybe I'll sell them at some point if anyone's interested maybe like some aromatherapy ones would be nice I might have to blend these color powders again. Some of them still have some clumps. Not that many, but this one's really good. But this one has lumps. So I think I need to blend it more. But I was so anxious to get them all dry and all blended and put in the jars. So Maybe I'll do that later to, in a little while. Um, Reblend some of them. And then also I want to try to make a black. I made a really dark gray. But this is, I want black. Because even with, even with black, it's kind of grayish. So I want to make it as dark as possible. So let's see what I can come up with. 
so I have a couple things going on, but let's do the unboxing. <laughs> All right, let's start with this. One of these, I think, is for my daughter. I'm not sure which one, because they all have my name on them, so. My mother-in-law sent a couple things for my daughter, so. Okay, okay, so I got these. They're just speakers, plastic speakers. Um, like mixing dyes and I know you can use the color powder, mix it with water to make that shade dye, which is amazing. Like I could put a little bit of this in like a very small amount of water and use that to dye things that have that have liquid like Bath bombs, if they're not, it's not good for bath bombs to use a wet colorant because it can activate the bomb, but um, for anything that can use a liquid colorant, these color powders would be perfect for that too because you can dilute them in water and get that exact shade. So I'm really excited because that has been one thing is always mixing the right shade that I got, I have in mind for something. It, it doesn't always work out. So... There's one, I just got, I think, 12 of them. And they have the little pour spout. And I have, like, the little plastic cups I can throw away, which I like because I don't want to have to wash everything out. But I like these because they have the pour spout and they have the milliliters. Because when I'm mixing dyes or even liquid ingredients, um, they're in milliliters sometimes. And so instead of using a pipette, which only holds like three milliliters. So I have to just like keep filling, filling, filling. This one holds a hundred milliliters and it's got marks for 10, 20, 30, 40, and all this. Anyway, who knew I would be excited about beakers? I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put those. And then this. Is an ingredient we need, possibly, yeah. <clears throat> for my whoops, for my whip soap. For my whip soap, I need to add some of this, or I don't. It, I guess it's not necessary, but. Uh, Create, um, created bath bobs, of course, she recommends adding this. So, you use the grated soap, either melt and pour, or I have the Dove unscented. Um, grate the soap, and then you melt it and add this to it, and other stuff. And it, it turns into wick soap. And I have wick soap base also where you don't have to really add anything. You can add some SLSA for extra bubbles, but um, you don't really have to. And you just whip that with the, the beater, which I'm excited to try my whisper thing, so. So these are like, they're cool. It's like little pebbles. So I assume they obviously have to melt it with the soap. And this is 7.06 ounces. It doesn't call for much, so should be good. I'm going to put, put it in this bag, too, just to be safe. Double bag it. Okay. I think this one might be the one for my daughter. Because it's a book. But, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> so I got this to finish my set. Let me go get the other ones. Hang on a sec. Okay, so now I can binge the series. I'm thinking I might do a reading vlog of it, a bit of me reading the series. That way I'll be really invested, I think, if I'm doing a vlog and I know I have to talk about it and stuff. I'll, I'll be better accountable because I, if you don't know, I've been going through a major reading slump. But that's probably because I just have so many projects going on. But anyway, so now I have the whole series. 
and they have them on my hoopla too except for taming seven it's not there yet but by the time i get to it maybe it will be i don't know otherwise i can get it on audible but i'd like to read them partially at least physically because i seem to retain more information that way so we got binding 13 keeping 13 saving six redeeming six and taming seven so i'm excited to have these on the shelf so if you saw my stories a, a while ago after I did my birthday book haul, I, I pulled up a little bookshelf that we had in the garage and my plan was to paint it at some point or stain it or something, but I couldn't help but put my books on it. And now there's not enough room. It's, a, it's only two shelves and it's not deep enough for double stacking. And then I've got bookends on the top to hold uh, so it's like three shelves basically, and it doesn't fit all the books. So I might just need to buy a shelf that fits in that spot, but I might buy like a skinny, like not a very deep one, like that way it's not in the way because it's kind of in a spot that could be annoying. But anyway, so that's me talking about needing another bookshelf. Anyway, so let's get opening big box see what's in there <clears throat> and I got these little things on Timu I need to put another order in Timu I think I know I probably shouldn't I know it's bad but I just saw Dora from Creative Bath Lab had a collaboration with Timu and she ordered a bunch of molds and stuff and I didn't even think that about that they have that molds and stuff so anyway i want to get some molds but i love these little things but i had it came in a pack of three the little cloud cutters that they have them on amazon too i think um and i had to throw one out because the button kept coming off and then this one has been chewed by puppy sadly like i didn't realize it fell on the floor he didn't have it for very long thank god but, um, and then I have another one and I don't even know where it is. So I need to order some more. I'm going to order like a bunch because I know they don't necessarily last forever because they're cheap. They're very handy. So I have like a huge, I have a huge garbage bag full of this pack of paper. So I'm hoping for my bath bombs. I can use it in some way to help package them. So, the first thing I got was some more SLSA, which I use in a lot of recipes I have. I use it in. <coughs> it's all over it. Everything, of course. It's very airborne, if you didn't know. And it's in this box. Um... I use it in my bath bombs. I use it in the shampoo bars. It's a, <coughs> excuse me. It's a surfactant. So it just makes more bubbles basically. It's different. It's different from this. This, this also makes more bubbles, but it's just a different form. This is like a super fine powder and it's like all in the box. Even though it's pretty, it's sealed, but it's coming out at the bottom a little, so I'm going to have to be careful opening that. Let's get the messy stuff out. Well, actually, let's get this stuff out that's going to get ruined. All right, now, I hate doing Amazon returns, but I have a book with a bent corner because they packed it terribly and they didn't even put it in plastic but anyway I've got this one cage of ice and echoes 
which is the sequel to the other one I got for my birthday book haul. Let me go see what it is. All right, so book one is Hills of Shivers and Shadows, Frozen Fate, book one. And she's a big one. I haven't read it yet. I just got it for my birthday book haul. And then I, this one came out right out soon after, so I got it. So now I have book one and two. And this has a bent corner and it's a little dirty right there. I don't know if I'll return it and get another one. We'll see. Probably not. But I love these covers, so I had to have them. And then this one, I love this cover and the, the synopsis sounds really funny um she's gonna she's supposed to be a surrogate or something i think help wanted grumpy mountain man seeks baby mama job is an incubator position only surrogate must be impervious to grunting in the form of communication and nosy brotherly neighbors rustic mountain range housing available upon request so it looks like a curvy girl, which I like, and she's going to be a surrogate for him, I guess. And I'll look at the chapter headings. There's a little, like, mountain. So, I love the cover of this, and I love the, the synopsis sounded super interesting. So, so, we live by different rules on the mountain. So, I got that. And I have... Another package coming tomorrow. So, I'll show, you, I'll show you that. And then I got this for melting soap on the stove because everything I have is plastic. Not everything, but a lot of stuff I have is plastic. Big, the stuff is big enough. And I don't want to do it in my pot, obviously. Like, cook in the pot. So I got this a big metal pot and a handle and a four spout to melt soap and stuff in. And it comes with a little spoon. So that's good. I can make now I can I have the ingredients I need to make my whipped soap, so maybe I can make that today. And then I just, I was restocking, so I got the SLSA, so I figured I'd get some more citric acid. And I never use this brand. I usually use Millard brand. This one. But this one was a little bit cheaper. Not much, but a little bit. So I thought I might as well try it. I haven't had issues with, I've ordered citric acid through Wholesale Supply Plus and Make Your Own Buzz websites um, and didn't have any issues with it. The baking soda, I do prefer to use Arm & Hammer. So it does seem to make a difference for some reason when you use Arm & Hammer rather than I have bought some. When you use Arm & Hammer, um, because when I bought some through wholesale supplies and stuff uh, and used it, it it it, did, it wasn't the same. You know, like I had to add more wet and maybe the bath bombs didn't float as well. I don't know. I thought the baking soda made a difference. So I'm sticking with Arm & Hammer. And I can get it in like 12 pound bags. I'm sure you can get it in bigger bags, but so far I usually get like a 12 or 15 pound bag. I have a couple, so I use baking sodas like in everything. So let me go dump this out, but I'm gonna save this box up maybe. I don't know. All right, anyway, carefully put this down. It's got all the stuff in it. I got my restock my SLSA. I got my pot for melting my soap and my 
that I did for my soap and my beakers. So when I'm mixing wet ingredients, it'll be easier. And then we got this adorable book. And we got this gorgeous book. And we got this book. So I have a, I have two more packages coming later. I don't know what time. Um, probably this, they're coming through the mail. So that usually comes like 1030-ish. So hopefully I'll be able to film the opening those. And then I have a package tomorrow. And I think that's it. <laughs> For a while. I'm, I'm hoping not to order anything else. And But it's nice having, to, you know, packages to open every day. But I don't need any more stuff. Although I say that and then I just got done saying I need a new bookshelf. So, and my husband was just saying something about that. He's like... He's like, because I sent him a reel or something about Amazon packages or something. And he's like, he's like, no, I just come in and it's already put together. Like, I get things like bookshelves, tables, things like that. And he comes home and he never even saw the box. It's, it came in, got unboxed, got put together, box got taken care of. It's, and, you know, he's like, oh, you got a new table. Oh, you got a new bookshelf. <laughs> But he doesn't care. He's he's the best. Um, all right, so let me put this stuff away. I'm working on a couple little things I need to do. And then maybe I will make some whipped soap. Or maybe I'll make a bath bomb. Because it's been a minute since I've made any. And I have so many new molds. And I have molds coming today. <coughs> so... Let me figure that out and I will see you soon. Hello, good morning. So I got two packages yesterday. I was supposed to get three, but one didn't come. So I assume it'll come Monday. I have packages coming today uh, from Amazon because they deliver on Sunday, of course. Um, and then some Monday, obviously the other bath bombs and some other stuff. I ordered some dog stuff and Things like that, but anyway, so this one is from Kata Molds, so that's on mold. I got a music note. making egg bath bombs and putting them in little cartons so I thought I might do that for a stampler make some different egg bath bombs in different scents from the different tropes and make like little six pack egg packages or something so now I have this cute little egg bath bomb too and then I did order another bookshelf because the little bit of one I have, there's no way it's going to fit everything. So I'll show you that, putting it together. Paper. So I got these mostly for covers, but I read one of them years ago. Purple Orchids. Samantha Christie. White Lies. And I, read, I don't know which one I read though. And Black Roses. And I just, these covers are beautiful. I had to have them. And like I said, I read one of them. I can't. Let's see. Okay, I think I read this. Um, no. 
back to this one. Sorry. I read this one, which I think is the second book, but they're like companions, so I don't think it really matters. And it's been like, a few, I don't know, five, four years probably. So I got those three. And then I didn't have this one by Claire Kent Sanctuary. And then as soon as Homestead comes out, I'll be getting that one too. Because I love Claire Kent and I love this series. So I have most of those. And so that's it for today. But I've got more packages coming. I need to get making some bath bombs because I have so many new fun molds to play with. So that's it for today. Um, I don't know if I'll keep adding. I might as well, I guess. So I hope you like it. <laughs> so that's today's haul. I will see you soon. Good morning. So I have more packages I got yesterday. They came <clears throat> late, like seven or something. So I'm opening them for you now. And I have a bunch of packages coming today. So tomorrow. I'm going to add it to my compilation. So let's see. First, we have. Ready or Not by Kara Bastone. I have, I think it's like, it's like a single dad and she's a teacher of his son. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like a mass market, but I love this cover. It's a pretty like water, like the flowers and anyway, um, I've heard good things about her as an author. So I got this one. Long story short, the name I had picked out for my business um, when I started trying to set up my Etsy store was already taken, so I had to do a new name. Well, I made a million tags with all the romance tropes with my old name, with the other name on it, so I have to remake a bunch of tags, so I got some more craft card stock to do that, to make all my labeling tags over again, but that's okay. I should, I should have done that. I thought, I did check to see. Alright, this box is heavy, but it's really not. together or at least when it's together me loading all books on it let me see what it looks like well it's hard to it doesn't look too bad it's like my other ones with the metal and the wood, but it's just a smaller version. So, I'm going to put this together and show you guys and put all my new books on it and all the books that have no home. So, I'll talk to you later. Good morning. I've got a lot of packages to open. 
that I got yesterday. The first thing I got was some dog treats. Bacon flavored treats. treats <clears throat> for my puppy. And that's what's coming today, dog food. If there's any things that I'll show you. <clears throat> And then this is the ingredient I need for something. I didn't realize it was so small, but I only need a little bit, so it'll work. I can't remember what I'm making with this. Body wash, maybe? heavyweight cardstock. It's 110 pounds. So I think I'm going to print some more bookmarks because I had ordered the digital versions of bookmarks and a bunch of bookmarks. And I printed them on my on like glossy cardstock, but they bled a little bit. And I'm wondering if they would print better on just plain cardstock. And this is nice and thick for bookmarks, so, and I always need white cardstock, so I got that. I needed a big glass container for like using a microwave or a double boiler for soap stuff. So I got four cup Pyrex to put my things that I need to melt in. And then I got this, which I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> extension cord. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six outlets on it. And I have a power strip, but I need something that reaches up onto my desktop or onto my tabletop for like when I'm doing my sealer or my blender or my mixer or any of those things. <clears throat> I need an outlet close by. So I got this one. And then this is another ingredient I needed for something. recipe. See how I like it. I mean, it's enough to make a, a bit because you don't need a lot, but I got these two things. <clears throat> see what's in this one. Get this out of the way. This one <clears throat> I got for the house. We needed new measuring cups. Glass measuring cups. For the kitchen. So I got a set of three. I got the four cup. The two cup. And the one cup. This is just for my kitchen because <clears throat> we've been needing 
few measuring cups for a while. So I got a set of three. It was a really good sale. And then I got this ingredient that I need. I think it's for conditioner. And you're using like grams and these are in ounces. So this is 170 grams. So <clears throat> even though these are small containers of the ingredients, it's enough to make a few batches. And then I saw how people were wrapping bath bombs and shampoo bars in what I thought was parchment and getting something to stick. So I bought, they were using coffee filters, like blood bleached ones. And then, so I'm gonna wrap my shampoo bars and I can wrap bath bombs in there. <clears throat> And sticky, it gets sticky clothes. Be careful opening this one because it's a powder. More tapioca starch. more dog treats, <clears throat> beef bits, and then I'm going to make conditioner bars, so I got this, these molds, I like these because they're rounded. <clears throat> So the conditioner bars are more liquid, so you just pour it in the mold, or the shampoo one, I use that, like, bath bomb type mold to press the dough. So anyway, I'm going to make more shampoo bars and some conditioner bars. So that's the molds for the conditioner bars. This one, which is bath bomb molds. <clears throat> I can't remember the company. Okay, so are these are 3D bath bomb molds from Boho 3D. <clears throat> and here's some instructions on how to use the molds, which I shouldn't need. A little patch, a little glittery heart patch. And bath bomb molds. So I got I got this triple heart mold. Make 
makes three little hearts. So I thought I could make some samplers of scents. I can make like a bunch of hearts and whatever scent, but I don't know. Oh, here it is. I need to they, they wrap the pieces all separate. So yeah, this goes on the bottom. And then this one is a little envelope with a heart, so like a little love letter. These are nice molds. I'll definitely order again. <clears throat> and then I got some cherries. gap I think and this is the back of the cherries oh my god cherries for age gap little mini hearts for samplers <clears throat> and this adorable love letter for love letters uh, epistolary romance so that's it for today I have a few more things coming so we'll see if I wait to end this but I'll talk to you soon.